Yo, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to another video. Los Angeles Charger franchise. We are here in week five, coming off a week four victory. A very close game. One of our closest games since, like, the Super Bowl of last year. We are facing the Chiefs, which is... They're not really doing that. They're one and three. I kind of wonder what's going on with their team. They're at, almost at the bottom, other than the Broncos. Just haven't been able to pick up a victory against us. You know, they place us... They play us two times in the last four weeks. And if you look at our team, our team is a 90 overall, 91 offense, 89 defense. Is one of the best in the league. I think in terms of, like, where the league is, you'll see us, uh, not see us. You'll see teams go within that 85 to 84, like, mid-80 range. But you won't see them get as high as us, which I think gets upgrades and get right into this video. Mr. Adley, who has been playing well throughout this whole series since we signed him to this team, I think. I think he was already on this team when I uh, picked up this series. Your hit power is decent. I think I'm just going to go man. Which is going to be basically run support, right? No, actually, hybrid is man. Interesting. We said 85 overall. Your man goes up by one, your press, and your tackle goes up. Also, play rate goes up by two. You'll be able to place, like, a corner, honestly. Like, we did have you at sub-linebacker for a little bit, and you know sub-cornerback for a little bit, too. Tony Burton, who's having a, his best season yet, obviously because he's playing, like, kind of in the slot this season. Getting a lot of uh, touches. Getting a little more touches than almost anybody on the team, honestly. But you're going to go route running. Doesn't boost your overall by anything, but you get three to medium, which is huge. Marcus Harriet, who is probably gonna uh, reveal what he is in this episode, if he doesn't get hurt or for some reason he doesn't play, we're gonna want to get that zone up. I think that's what's kind of like making you a bad player. Your zone. So actually, I was gonna go zone. Um, I'm I was gonna go. I'm gonna go um hybrid. Hopefully it targets both. And that boosts your zone by two. Awareness by three and press by one. So what is your zone on now? 73 zone, 84 man. We run a, I don't want to say we run a lot of man, but we run a decent amount of man. And for Joe Mason, it's always going to be zone coverage. That's the big thing that we need for you. Especially when I'm not, like, using you. You know, I try to, but there are times when I'm just not on you. Which is the second one overall. And only one to zone. Two to awareness. Great. I hate how awareness is a stat. That's just very annoying. Quit Nelson doesn't really matter. Where we go with Jerry at 99 overall. Plus three to run block finesse. Nice. And we're getting this game against the Kansas City Chiefs. They're 8 3 overall. Like I said, there's not going to be many teams that's going to be able to compete with us in overall aspect. Basically the same people, Patrick Mahomes, Tyreek Hill, Chris Jones, Travis Kelsey, Tyron Matthew, and Willie Gay, who I think was a middle linebacker for them last time, if I'm not mistaken. Quinn had a good, another good performance last week, 139 yards, two touchdowns. I don't even know if, um, like, I don't, I had a consecutive 100-yard games with him. I don't think I missed a 100-yard game yet this season. He obviously will be leading the league in rushes, if not touchdowns. Like, he has to be leading the league in one of those, right? But there's no scenario. Like, why is there no scenario? I understand he's already a superstar. It's like, oh, yeah, he's already good enough. But no. He's not already good enough. I want him to be better. <laughs> Give me superstar X Factor. That would be huge. I think that will make us this the fourth offensive play that has superstar X Factor if Kareem gets it. AC Justin Herbert. Uh, last week, it was just not a good week for... Throwing the ball, but we still lead the league. I did check early. We did the league in yards and the touchdowns. So, that's that. Yeah, he was on that all the way. I didn't think he'll be that fast over the line. But, that's what it is. All right, they're blitzing, obviously. All right, this is going to be Tony Burton or Hunter Henry over the middle. And we'll see what we can get. Hopefully, blocks pick up. Blocks do actually pick up. There you go, Hunter. Ah, only a fucking, um, 
Dorian Dell could um pick up that block. I'll be so fucking glad if he did. I don't think this play action works, but I'm still gonna try it. Oh, I didn't think he was gonna catch that. I really didn't think he was gonna catch that. I thought the um the linebacker covering him would shade it up a little bit more on the throw. You know how to be teleporting to the ball, shit like that. Are we gonna play a few runs even now? Why are you talking about coming out and running? Yeah, come on, this defense. And a big hit. See if we could try to get a run right here. They're gonna be blitzing off this left side, so maybe something. Nope. I'm just gonna run this myself. An easy touchdown with Justin Herbert. Wanted to roll out to the right, made me turn around, and I saw nothing but open field for Justin. And it's gonna put us seven to zip. You see, roll out to the left. Nothing but green and a touchdown. That first drive was pretty um, easy passing it. Not so much running the ball, but we'll, we'll, um, we'll see how our defense actually plays. Because defense was a the reason why we gave us so many points in that first quarter last week. Yeah, Patrick Mahomes not having a good go of it as of late. 920 yards, 6 touchdowns, 12 interceptions. His worst start ever? Possibly. At the 27 yard line. Tyreek Hill. Uh, he's going to be a hard break from stopping just like that. 30 yards. 30 yards through the air just like that. First down, Chiefs. All right, I'm feeling um the difficulty of this offense already. Defense is not really holding up. We're actually going to try to send a blitz. Will they run again? Please don't. Actually, no. Oh my god, I wanted to hit him. Wait, why can't I hit him before he slides? It's going to be huge right here, a huge stop. And they go to the sideline, and they're going to be, f not forced, but they are going to take their three right here. They'll settle for three after getting a lot of yards getting downfield. Um, I wouldn't say it's not a smart thing to take your three, obviously. It's probably the smartest thing to just take your points where you can get them, especially going against us. Well, maybe not as, not as of late, because we have sucked as of late. Because half the time, I just feel like they don't know who to block. Like, you're telling them to block, but they don't know who to block. I'm running. Oh, what a block. That was a huge block, and he fumbled out of bounds, though. I want to streak Dorian Dale. Or should I streak Tony Burton? Nah, no, I'm going to streak Dorian Dale. Uh, we recovered it, but I didn't want to hit Dorian Bell on that. Because the throw, the way the uh, coverage was and the throw I was going to try to hit just wasn't going to make any sense for me to do. Kind of did. Yeah, just, you know, just a few yards short. Are we going to be able to have to take a 53-yard field goal now? That was a crazy story with Justin Herbert, though. Like, I'm not trying to, like, not mention it because he just didn't get it. But that was a crazy throw. Throw on the run. Throw it almost 30 yards accurately. Yeah. Because sometimes you need stuff to, like, stop runs and pass in case they would switch the play to that. Easy and so Nasir Adley, all just told him I was having a good franchise with this series. He's one of the best non star players. I know he's a star, deaf, but he's not a star player on this team. Easy Kareem. Just a one play touchdown. E easy run, a little inside zone, inside split zone, whatever it's called. 
first 10th touchdown of the season. It's going to put us right back up. Well, we were going to run it down, but it's going to put us right up 17 to 3. I almost said 17 to 2. What am I thinking of? How did he get to it? Um, Patrick Mahomes seemed like he just threw a panic throw right there. I don't know what's going on with him. Is he just not communicating with his receivers? Did he lose the chemistry here in Kansas City? I really don't know, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> they did a play action. They kind of caught me, but by the time, like, they got off it being a play action, it was too late. Like, it was really just too late. Good catch. All right. It's going to be third and, what, 12 now? So it'll be a little deeper than that, honestly. Going deep. And he's getting mossed. I didn't do anything to stop that because I'm like, all right, my defenders are going to have to play by themselves, like, eventually. Like, they're going to have to learn how to play coverage. And instances like that, they're never going to have to play coverage. <laughs> because what the fuck? How did you do that? And now he's in. Yeah, he has Bazooka. It's over. No more fun for anybody except right there. Joey Bosa gets in. There's no big hit. Oh my god. How is that a catch? They're both in the same spot. That puts him over a thousand passing yards this season. A little late for Patrick Mahomes, you know. Can we get some big hits on these guys, man? A loss of two brings up second and twelve at the Chargers' twenty-seven yard line. Oh, that's a hit. <sighs> we might have to put like a QB spy on this man, bro. Good tackle by Chevin Lovoso again, stopping the first down. And that's incredible. Um, in this situation, I think you just go for it, honestly. Fourth and one on a 16-yard line. You're down by a lot of touchdowns. Really, really like two touchdowns. And you only put it 16 to 17. I mean, I don't know. I really don't know. A yard? And a field position wouldn't even be horrible that you're giving up. I don't know, man. I would probably go for that. What a fucking throw. His throws on the run are incredible, bro. Like, just look at it. Beautiful run. Beautiful throw. Very accurate. Very Yeah, it's just, I'm making bad decisions. Really bad decisions. Gonna be forced to get another field goal here because I just couldn't find anything. We're gonna hit it easily, though. We're gonna put it back up to right where it was, 6 to 20. I think this, uh, the Chiefs offense is playing good, but they're just not, at the end of drives, they're just not being aggressive enough. They're being aggressive to get to that end zone or that red zone mark. But they're just not being aggressive enough to go for it. Because it's both times we stopped them on fourth downs to not get touchdowns. Not stop them on fourth downs. Stop them on third downs to force them to take a, a fourth down field goal. And he just didn't. Can we tackle him? Yo, Joey. I mean, uh, Matt, Matt Bryan, you were right there. Big hit. Oh, my God. No. Why did you run right into him? Big hit by Kenneth Murray Jr. Forcing Patrick Holmes to fumble the ball because he didn't want to throw, he wanted to scramble. Like, I just, I, I, I don't know what the thought process is on that. It's literally going to be a blitz, but 
It is, obviously. Fuck! It's just, uh, it's inaccurate. It looked like he threw off his back foot a little bit. It looked like pressure was getting in anyways. A lot of things were happening. Kareem! Yo, Kareem is different! Kareem is different, holy shit! Nah. Look at that. The catch, about to get tackled, juke. And then another juke! Yo, Kareem is that dude, bro. What the fuck? That's gonna put it 27 to 6. That all came off the fumble, man. Defense to offense. And now we're rolling. We're looking like the the Chargers of a couple weeks ago. Or a couple years ago. All the Chargers we've been the whole time. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it was because I just haven't played in a while and it just was bad. Once again, you saw how last week I did up the coverage and everything. I mean, the coverage isn't horrible, but something about last week. Maybe this team just sucks. Oh, they're so lucky they handed the ball. is coming for Patrick. That was alright. I think that was Cordero Ellis on that one. Complete to Travis Kelsey. It's a gain of 17 yards. First down, Chiefs. And things are moving. I think they're gonna go with this tight end route. You know the one I'm talking about. They are. They are. They are. They are. And once again, he gets hit while running. I'm gonna run QB contain. Well, obviously they're running right here. Nobody could get to the outside. We're even expecting to take it outside, so good play on them. It's gonna be a two minute warning right here though. So can they actually score a touchdown, their first touchdown before the half where they do receive ball again? Oh, that is so me. I ain't gonna lie. Like, he threw it immediately, which I'm like, there's, like, every time they do that, I don't think they're gonna throw it at me. But they do. It's cool, though. And there we go. Chenna Wosu coming away with the sack, his second sack of the game. This offensive line cannot really contain this defensive line this game. They're going to call a timeout. How many seconds are left in the game? That is going to be 50-something seconds left in the game. Try to hit second, but they go for tackle. What's going to be third down now? With 20-something seconds? Not 20, like 40-something seconds left. Yeah, 47 seconds left. Third and nine. They would have to be going deep. You would at least think that, right? And they actually do. But what are they going to do here? I mean, you get points at, I tell you, get points. You get ball at half. I mean, you put it at nine, it's like, I guess, but I don't know, man. Nine to 27. Yeah, I think fans are booing us for whatever reason. Or maybe they're booing them for taking the field goal. Who knows? 927, I don't agree with the the calls to punt when you're so close. Maybe when you don't have points and you're like, I just need my points. Yeah, but I think you have to take a shot at least once. There you go, Tony. Getting out of bounds, I believe, right there. These are 20 seconds. 20 second seconds. 26 seconds on the clock. So what do we call here? I think I'm going to call a classic play for me at least. We didn't get out. 
Okay, that's halftime. I swear I got out, but... Alright. I should look at the clock, I guess. I guess. Whatever. Uh, that half ended horribly for us because we could have got points. But it ended even worse for them because they're stuck with field goals. They have taken... They have three chances in the end zone or red zone, whatever you want to call it. And they only have gotten field goals. So we'll see if this changes here in these upcoming minutes of the second half. Like, there's no way. Why can we not get in? I mean, their offensive line might just be better at run blocking. That's kind of how I'm seeing it right now. Big hit. No fumble that time, but I'm there. Come on. There we go. Love it. Making up for last week's non-interception when you should have got it. Getting it this week when they're going deep. Beautiful. Loving it. Kareem Hunt. Don't show his season stat because he's not having a good game today. Running the ball is not there. I can even show you. I'm going to run the ball right here, and I'm not going to get a lot of yards. Surprise, surprise. Nobody blocked him. Eight rushes, 16 yards. I mean, he had good, like, catches and shit, but runs is not there today, my boys. I'm going to add throw it away. Why are you throwing it to the left, though? Like, that didn't make any sense to do. All right, third and 11. I obviously need a first down on this. Gonna put Dorian down on post corner. We're looking at Hunter Henry, Tony Burton. Maybe Dorian if he beats him. I think I might. Yeah, I'm taking a look at Dorian. And he scores off that. Isn't that incredible? Isn't that fucking incredible? Dorian Dale. Like, oh my god. I've seen him, like, I've seen no safety there, so I'm like, I'm going to throw it. And he just outruns everybody for the touchdown. Dorian Dale, what a guy. Puts a lead even up more, 33-9. Another dominant performance here in L.A. And right there. I believe that was a Cordero Ellis, who we rarely see getting in on quarterbacks. He's mainly a covers guy for us, but that time he actually gets in. His team has seen a lot of third downs as of um, well, the whole game. I was going to say as of late, but not really, really just the whole game. They're running a screen, and you're getting tackled by Joe Mason. So they're not going to go for it here as his horrible field position if they would go for it. Um, yeah. Just, the defense is really showing up in a big way. The offensive line is no match for our defensive line. He didn't go for it. Bro, it was right there. Maybe the throw was a little off, but come on, bro. There we go, Kareem. Your first 10 yard rush of the game. As I put you 9 for 29 with a touchdown. Alright, um. Yeah, that's a little tough one. That was the actual hard hit. But Kareem gets right back on his feet. All right, we were on all of that. The moment came out there. I already, I already know what play this is. Everybody has this play in their playbook. All right, I said I know what play this is and didn't stop it. <laughs> what the fuck? Fourth down, third. 
How many third downs is this for them, man? And they obviously converted on none, it feels like. But, golly, y'all are faced on third down a lot. And look, y'all go short. <laughs> take this. I mean, yeah, I guess you don't not take your shots because you took plenty of shots today. Yeah. You're going for another field goal. It is late in this third quarter. You're down 9-34, to 34, and they say the field goal is the answer. Put it 12 to 34 now. All right, let's see what gets open on this. Something has always gotten open on this. And this time it is Joe Reed. A big first down. Something they really can't stop right now. Going to run the ball a little bit just to try to get some runs in. Maybe we might break off for one. Right, it's a good nice five yard run right there. Wow, uh, I kind of just slipped in for that run with air trucks. Yeah, and now's the time we got 500 yards this season. Which is great because we play like shit this game with the run. It's nice to be able to get 500 yards in the season. Uh, kind of so quickly. Trying to juke, but not really working. Juked right into him. Oh my god, I didn't think he was going to catch that. Dorian. <laughs> he actually caught that shit. It's just the way it was. It looked like he was throwing a little too high, honestly. But, I mean, we haven't seen that in a while from Dorian because we haven't been throwing fades to him. But yeah, just an easy one hand grab. A little like block off on the shoulder from on his opponent's shoulder so he couldn't like obviously get that leverage. But obviously a no call and it doesn't really matter because we are up forty to twelve. Forty one to twelve. Alright, um I just want I kinda wanna review what happened right there. You gotta guarantee it was nothing I did. It's nothing I did. As you can see, well, you can't see. Well, I ran cover for a drop show or some shit like that. And let's just see what this outside. Um, let's see what this guy just did to him, right? Let's just look. Oh, you blitz. Why? Why is Emmanuel mostly blitzing? We don't. We don't. We, we have no fucking clue. I threw it to the wrong person. I meant to throw it to Kareem Hunt, but I ended up throwing it at uh, someone on the outside. I don't even know who was there. Good try to fight. I feel like he tried to strip you, but he couldn't do that. So I'm gonna go for another run right here. There's nobody blitzing, so it should be easy. Very easy. There you go, Kareem. Nice broken tackle. Look at that. He was holding him a lot. Holy shit. He was on... Keenan Swan was on our team. Holy shit. That's actually pretty fucking funny. Oh my god, he still caught it. I threw it so early. And he still caught that joy. Yeah, I threw it very early. Like, if the cornerback was any, like, if he was actually good, he would have, like, um, cut him off. Bugged him off the route something. But he didn't, and it's going to be 48 to 19 now. Okay, this is not the same covers, but it basically is. And I did the same things I did last time, so he did not get burned. He just jumped right over him. Great animation. Easy, oh my 
God, Derwin James swarming Patrick Mahomes on that play. Because I knew if I went man coverage, they're going to look for the running back. And that's why I just might, I might just run some man and just cover the running back. As there is no running back, but if they throw quick slants and my team's just not prepared for it, then nothing I could really do about that. I'm hit sticking! Oh! What? How did he catch that? Yeah, not running right here. I jumped for it. What a fucking idiot I am. I could have tackled him, but I fucking jumped. Alright, there's gonna be two minute warning right here. Going back to the same old play. You have to be kidding me. I'm on that. And I'm spamming Y. Another Enzo, that one's actually going to end the game. Who was that Enzo by? Greedy Williams. A person doesn't really get targeted as much anymore. I think I switched a depth chart or something, but he just doesn't really get targeted. That's going to end the game, man. Dorian Dale had another game where he had three, he all his receptions were touchdowns. Which is always nice to see. Oh my god, I scored off this. There is no way I actually scored off that. Holy shit. I was like, I'll just do it just to do it. It's not like, uh, if, and Ento probably won't happen, but it could have, honestly. If <laughs> we actually scored off that bullshit. What a way to end the game. All right, big, big game for these Los Angeles Chargers in week five, I believe it is. Yeah, it is week five. Justin Herbert threw the ball for 423 yards, five touches, no interceptions. Love when he has no interceptions. Makes him just look like the best quarterback in the league. And I think he is playing the best quarterback in the league right now. Leading, leading yards and probably touchdowns still. Patrick Holmes threw the ball for... He threw horribly. He missed six passes, though. Threw 280... 280... 259 yards. One touchdown, three interceptions. Running the ball, I think both teams did fairly well. 20 runs to 74 yards, one touchdown. Kyle was hilarious, 61 yards, eight... Not eight, zero touchdowns. And Patrick Mahomes was a scrambling son of a bitch. So was I. That's fine. I actually got a rushing touchdown there with uh, Justin Herbert, too. And four receiving, who are there enduring down for four catches, four touchdowns, 173 yards. McCall Hardman, who I believe was that guy who, yeah, he caught that long touchdown when my cornerback just blitzed the quarterback for no reason, even though I wasn't calling a blitz, I was calling a Cover for a drop show, and he just did not follow the running back. Nobody did. I feel like everybody just blitzed the quarterback for some reason. You know, I didn't. So I don't do that. Tony Burton having another decent game. Joe Reed along with him. And Hunter Henry only get one catch on the day. But defense is kind of what did it for us. Chen Wilson was there with the tackle floor. So was Joe Mason and Willie Gay also. For Sacks, this is where we really dominated the game. Let them know that we are here. Chandler Wilson had two sacks. Derwin James had one. Joey Bulls had one. Braylon Lucas had one. And Cordell Ellis had one along with Intos. Marcus Harriet making up for his uh, lost interception last week. Greedy Williams and Nasir Adderley. So the only reason I wanted to get this, the only reason you're seeing back-to-back -back, uh, launch the Chargers videos is because I wanted to get this, um, I wanted to get the dev trait revealed out the way and hopefully it's out the way now. Uh, moving on to week six, we are going to see these because I believe they did play the appropriate snaps. And we have a breakout player somewhere. I don't know where that's actually going to be. Hopefully, it's... I don't know where it would be, honestly. It's not going to be Kareem because Kareem already has his... Obviously, he has a face scan in the game. He has a picture, so I don't think it'll be Kareem. I believe it'll be one of our defenders, and we are seeing... Yes! Joe Mason actually does have a superstar development.
Uh, we'll change these abilities, or well, this ability next week, as I actually get a second ability on 3 to 85. But we'll change this ability next week to something. We'll talk about it, as you can see. Let me know what you, what you think he should be changed to. And Marcus Harriet. He will be changed, or well, he'll be revealed next week, but I don't understand how you don't get the probably get snatched. We are str starting strong safety, and you even sub, sub in that cornerback sometimes, I think. Hey, see, so there's a whole lot of fucking red. <laughs> Nah, it really is a whole lot of red. Even if we count the superstar and superstar extractors. Emmanuel Mosley, Derwin James, Kenneth Murray Jr., Chen Mosu, Joe Mason, not Joe Mason, Joey Bosa, Matt Bryant, Joe Mason, Canario Diggs, and possibly even Marcus Harriet. And we look on the offense. Dorian Dell, Joe Reed, Justin Herbert, Kareem, Quentin Nelson, Hunter Henry. And who knows? It might be even someone new here. Preston Williams could be it. Tony Brandt could be it. Yeah. Um, that's it for us here, though. If you did enjoy, sure leave a like. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Show your support. Show your love. And we'll see you next video. Well, until next video. Peace. Bad bitch painting me. So as I walk in. Niggas ain't turning to bitches. All of that talk. They just gonna steal your bitches. Well, how much it cost them? That's out of your price range. I wanna go to Paris.